Thanks a lot. New details tonight about a proposed casino in South Bend mm -hmm. and the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians is at the center of it. This proposal includes a casino, housing, and a tribal village. WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski is tracking this story. And Kelly, we expect to hear from the federal government very soon on the environmental impact of this development. And Jennifer, this is the area in the city that we are talking about right here. You can see here's the US 20 bypass on this side of the triangle, State Road 23 here. And and Locust Road here. Now this is downtown South Bend, so it's just south of downtown, very close to the Rum Village area. And I found out the process to make this happen is moving forward quietly. It might not look like much. An office building for the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians just off Prairie Avenue in South Bend. But this map from Indiana's Public Policy Study Committee from last fall outlines the property and distances to other Indiana casinos. It also shows the proposed casino location entrance somewhere along Prairie Avenue. Just three months ago, St. Joseph County and the Pokagon Band signed this 10-year law enforcement agreement. In the event that the, the property would come in trust and that the Pokagon tribe would locate here in St. Joe County, would give our sheriff department and their police department the ability to go on each other's property. The casino and housing proposal is nothing new. Tribal leaders have said the 600 Pokagons in northern Indiana need a home base because right now they travel to Michigan for health care, educational opportunities, and tribal events. We do invite your comments. In 2012, dozens of neighbors and some elected officials showed up at a public hearing called by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. The economic impact will be a major and permanent boost to our local economy. Gambling destroys families. Back then, the Bureau of Indian Affairs said it would be close to two years before it issued an environmental impact statement. And now, two and a half years later, it sounds like that could happen any day. In a statement, City of South Bend spokeswoman Kara Kelly said the Bureau is expected to announce a public hearing regarding the environmental impacts later this spring. And those environmental impact findings, all part of the process to put the land in this triangle area into a federal trust so the Pokagon Band can use it forever. And if the federal government approves it, state and local governments might not have a say about what the Indian tribe does with this land. I've reached out to the Bureau of Indian Affairs and Indiana's Gaming Commission to check on that. But as we've seen in New Buffalo, the Potawatomi Indians sometimes work closely with local government entities. It's also important to point out here, we have no idea what the timeline is on this. I did reach out to the Potawatomi to try and get an answer today. I'm still waiting to hear back from a Pokagon Band spokeswoman. I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT 22 News.